Hello and welcome to this new and maybe, I don't know, final video of Produce. Nexus Distortion, let's go. Okay, 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 that's a new guy. Well, I killed him. Which I think. He, he, he's swimming in his own. Yep, yep, he's dead. I was wondering what that guy was doing. Kind of lonely in here. Oh, neat. What the fuck? He entered, and that's a brand new enemy. What's going on? One hundred down. I can hardly see those guys. Okay, I did it, I think. Unknown dimension de detected. Okay, not the fight. No level. Sure. That was kind of cool. Let me guess, it's one level. What? Campaign finished. Energy. Hey, hi, son. Thanks for the. 
for a sub. Uh, energy poured out from the corrupted nexus, revealing a gateway to an unknown dimension with unlimited power. The Proteus forces have invaded the moral dimension. A conquest for the perfect order draws near as they push the armies of chaos back. The vessel has disappeared into the eye of an infinite horizon. The future is uncertain. So the vessel was my character. Uh, I just disappeared, I guess. So there's not even an extra level or anything. That's, that, that's it. That's, that, that was the final level of Proteus. That was super anticlimactic. Literally giving me a text epilogue at the end. What the fuck? Uh, is there more? Yeah, it, it's eight hours long, so I knew it was like short, but like, what the fuck is that ending? <laughs> Does that count as an ending? It's a sequel bait more than anything, that's for sure, but huh? Okay, so yeah, there's really nothing else. I don't even know why this is a menu, like... Just start the campaign, there's nothing else. Well, that was fucking, um... Yeah, I guess. It's been at version 1.0.2 for like... More than a year, I'm pretty sure. Uh... So yeah, I guess... I really expected the final level to be more and like that wasn't even a boss. It was like one new enemy. They spawned it three or four times, maybe. And call it a day. There you go. That's the end. Okay. Uh. Yeah, totally unfinished. What the fuck? So anyway, time to give it a note, I guess. Wow, that. That wasn't good. <laughs> so, uh, graphically, the game is superb. I really love the artistic direction. I would have preferred, though, if... Um, like, the animation could have been smoother. They, they, they feel very weird with, like, how smooth the game is. You know. Like, 24 FPS animation for uh, 90 FPS games. It's, it feels a bit weird. It's not too jarring if you don't look at it but when you look at it boy basically i was just like spending my time looking at what i was shooting um a story what <laughs> i didn't pay attention to the story so we're not even gonna mention that this is very much an old like uh boomer shooter not a huge focus on the story so that's fine the gameplay was great um Gameplay. What did I? What did I talk about at the first time? The first part. Did I talk about graphics or gameplay? I forget. <laughs> uh, I did talk about story. What did I talk at first? Oh my god, I should have slept tonight. Um. Yeah, the gameplay was great. Oh, I talked about the graphics. Game looks amazing. Uh, gameplay was great. It, it really felt good to play. Thanks, son. Um, kind of weird how they kept like one of their guns for like near the end of the game, and it's one that kind of really sucks. Like, if it were a flamethrower and. It was actually good like okay i see why you guys kept it for so long but it, it throws bubbles of lava and it barely hurts most enemies why the fuck was it kept away from me from so long for so long makes no fucking sense 
most of the levels are also fine there's like i don't really have a huge problem with the level design there were some really interesting levels here and there but a bit same-ish all around now uh soundtrack and audio i really like parts of the soundtrack there were like some tracks that were really good and stuff that i would probably add to my playlist for the streams but yeah a lot of it was like just very generic metal background noise you know not bad but eh, it was it was okay it did the job uh the audio for the guns like all the guns sounded great i liked all the guns even the weird like lava bubble one um so final note for this game like i said a bit disappointed by the ending um and some weird choices in there but overall i kind of enjoyed my time with this game but yeah that ending man i think i'm gonna give this game a 14 out of 20. it's a fine game you'll like it if you like doom it's very fun to play But you will feel like uh, they, they could have done a bit more. I mean, that's fine. I don't, I don't force you to buy anything. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this series of videos on Rodigus. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time in the next series of videos on something else. Bye-bye.